that there's a parade on it. Each and every one in this line is under arrest for parading without a permit. We've had in our area here outside agitation groups of all levels. We've had Martin Luther Coon, uh, King, pardon me, sir, Martin, Martin Luther King. We have had people of the Nazi Party, the States' Rights Party. Both of these groups have come in. They have continually harassed and agitated us for approximately three or four weeks. They are trying to break, split up our community and make gains and things of this sort and, and get force against force. I think we have stood up under this remarkably well. I'd like to say to the people, I am a segregationist. I do not believe in biracial committees. I made this in my inaugural address. I told the people of Selma, I have never done anything behind the people of Selma's back. I will never do. I said I would never sit down with a biracial committee and deal with anything. I did say this, that I would talk with the people of Selma. I would never talk with an outsider. I have never talked with an outsider concerning our local problems.
when we talk about marching by the thousands, we always prepare ourselves for the follow-up. If it is necessary, we are willing and must be willing to go to jail by the thousands in Alabama. To get right well, we know that the vote is the key to democratic government. And our cry today is an humble cry to the South and to the state of Alabama. Give us the ballot. We are ready now to march on ballot boxes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Until every situation that keeps us down at the bottom of the economic ladder is changed, we are ready to march on ballot boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Until the day will come that the medium income of the Negro in Alabama is no longer $1,393, we are ready to march on ballot boxes. Yeah. So Negroes will no longer have to live on the shacks on the side of the streets, and Negroes can no longer make use of the public accommodations there for all of God's children. We are ready to march on ballot boxes. Yeah. You will march on in the spirit of nonviolence, yeah. determined to get the ballot. Yeah. You will even look over to your brothers in Mississippi. Yeah. See a cold society gradually becoming an open society. Yeah. If you will march on with your brothers in Alabama, yeah. you will look around and see that glad day when all of God's children will be able to cry out, free at last, free at last. Yeah.